Hi everyone, welcome to Expert Stock. I am Anish Kumar Dhablia, and today we are going to talk about impact of research publication on IT industry. So let's begin. Before beginning, a short intro about myself. I am having almost a decade experience in IT industry. I am working as a engineering manager with Altimetry. I'm also a PhD scholar with SSBM, Geneva, Switzerland. So let's start with our talk. Uh, let's try to define the word research in a very layman term. So let's say you start with a very simple problem. Now you want to solve this problem. You applied your knowledge in the best possible way to solve this problem in the best possible way you think, right? So let's try to define research in the most basic layman term. Okay, let's say you start with a very basic problem. Now you want to solve this problem. So what is the process of solving this problem? You apply your knowledge from the last years, past years, and you try to apply your knowledge in this problem and try to find the best possible way. That's it. That's the simple definition of the research. Right? Everybody in this world is actually doing a research in one or the other way. It's not limited to the academic. Anybody who is trying to solve any basic problems is actually doing a research on top of it. So let's continue our talk to understand what exactly is the research paper. So let's go back to our old problem. Let's say you start solving a problem. So there is a process, a deep process behind it. Okay. First, you start writing a problem in the most basic way. That is also known as abstract, most of the researchers. Then you try to search this existing problem on the Google or on the internet, trying to see is anybody else actually face this problem because there are certain people who actually publish their solutions for us to understand, for us to get the knowledge from that self. Let's say you got a simple solution, but it's not enough for you. So you start solving your problem by yourself. Now the main challenge begins. You'll apply your knowledge and there will be tons of methods and methods you'll apply on that problem to get a right solution for yourself. This is also known as a research methodology. If you want to understand this terms, literature review, research methodology, you can comment down in the video and we'll have make another video on it. Finally, when you have very satisfactory results, you'll conclude your problem to be solved, right? The process I define is also, if you write this process, which I define on a piece of paper in a more systematic way, this is actually known as a research paper. This is actually a study which you have put on the piece of paper, right? Now you have a choice. You can actually publish your work probably in a book probably if you want to publish your book as a type of blog to share your knowledge right it's one part of it but if you want to go beyond that you can share your work with probably one of the reputed journals right maybe tata Magraw hill that's probably a reputed journal in india and tata Magraw hill will take your research paper will get it circulated with all the experts in its uh, panel and when the panel says, okay, this is the probably right solution for this problem, your paper will get published with Tata Magrolia. Now, what is the benefit of that? You are the sole owner and you get the credit to solve that particular problem. And anybody in the world faces that problem has the answer through you. So he will be able to know that you are the one who actually solved this problem. You are not anonymous anymore. I guess you understood uh, just by the basic talks, you understand the power of research paper and research publication. Let's understand research publication a bit more in detail. Research publication, also known as a peer reviewed process, is something that a pool of knowledge people or in highly qualified influencer peoples who, who share their knowledge with their papers, also known as articles. The moment you share your paper or your concept or anything, right, or problem solving thing to that paper, this group of individuals will help you understand is your solution right or maybe that solution can be made better. Now, what happens the moment you share your paper in any journal or any research publication, you become part of this beautiful community. This is the most powerful community in the world who are a group of researchers. They literally push the human race forward. Okay. The moment you are in this part and they say, yes, your approach to a particular problem is right. Then you will understand you are recognized as a probably very influential researcher. Research publication has really taken a kindly stronghold nowadays in India. People are, it's not just to the academic thing nowadays. IT industries, many industries actually publish a paper, uh, publish their intellectual property in the in terms of research articles. So let's talk about IT industries, our next topic. So IT industry is nothing but a huge playground for the innovation. Most of the innovation technical advances has been from the IT or technological industry. We have literally made our lives easier. Nobody can deny that. 
you need to understand that what really these technological advances are. They are nothing but the problems. I will start with problems. You pick up a problem, you apply your knowledge, you take the results and you conclude that problem. So it's nothing but a research, right? So everybody in the IT industry is doing nothing but research every day. They're trying to solve the problems which are affected to us, right? So does that mean that everybody in the IT industry can publish a paper? The answer is yes. But are they doing it? The answer is no. Why not? So let's drill this problem to a very basic one. Why exactly the IT industry is not that involved in research publication? The first thing which I understand is awareness. 99% of the people does not even know that there is a certain thing called publications or research publication or they can publish their problems or solutions on research sites, on research journals. So let's understand the basic problem behind why IT industry is not doing publications. The 99% of the time people are not aware that there is something called research publication and what has to be published in research publication, right? Let me give a simple example. Every day-to-day -day life in IT industry, everybody, it, maybe it's a developer, maybe it's a software tester, maybe it's a HR person, maybe it's a manager, they're trying to solve complex problems. For example, if developer, for a instance, if I need to take an instance of developer, is trying to solve probably a, a performance problem, right? A software which is not doing a great performance, he tries, solves that problem, there is an answer to that. Can it be published as a paper? The answer is yes, because that's a problem. The performance issue can be impacted to 100 other industries, they can use this solution to actually resolve their problems. Are they publishing it? The answer is no, because they are not aware of it. They are not doing it. What is the benefit if they publish their solutions for certain problems? They actually get the credibility of that and they get the reputation of being actually a problem solver. That's a big thing in the IT industry. Let's take another example. In the COVID era, the HR faced a biggest problem of the all time they had the issue of attrition as well as retention. So that's a problem, complex problem. What they did? They tried their own best. They tried to apply their own methodologies to solve this problem. They were able to maybe manage that for certain instance. But if you think every company in the world has the same problem, but let's say one company was or one HR, one group was actually able to solve this problem and they published their works, which other can relate and use. Is there any benefit? Obviously that's a benefit to everyone, right? So that's the power of publishing your knowledge or intellectual property to the world, but in your name. That's nothing, that's not a charity for anyone. That you can give it for free, that is okay. You can give it for free, there is a subscription model, but that goes under your name. That's something you created for the world, okay? I think I'm complaining more, more about that IT industries or the tech companies are not doing research publications, but are real or not? Is it not anyone doing it? Answer is also no. If you think about Apple, if you think about Tesla, if you think about Google, every company before publishing their product, they actually publish their own intellectual property in their name. They also file the patents. That's why the moment they have the product launch, that intellectual property belongs to them. Google is probably one of the prime example I can give. They have been publishing their complete works in terms of research publications, their page ranking algorithm, their AI algorithm, their data, their map reduce algorithm. Everything is available to everyone free just in the form of research publication. So why not IT industries is actually doing it, right? The Indian IT industry, the Indian contribution to the IT industry is the huge in terms of this world, right? The Indian IT industry is estimated to have almost $250 billion industry. But how much we are really spending for our employees to have done the research in that area? So I think this something has to be included in the culture of every corporate company, what I think. The moment you include this culture in the company, maybe the moment you see your colleagues, your maybe the team members are performing very well, trying to derive a superb solution, encourage them to publish a paper on that. It's not that costly. If you really think on that, it's not that costly. IEEE is a very prime example. If you want to get your research published, that's a recognition for them. That's a name convention for them. That's probably a hidden appreciation for them that the company is doing it. IBM is another prime example. IBM really helps their employees to file patents. There are certain people in IBM who can, maybe you can count them, they, they probably have 30, 40 patents on their name. The company is supporting them to encourage in this particular area, right? This is my take on our industries that we should probably blend this new culture in our day-to-day -day lives. It's not that none of the IT Indian companies are doing it. TCS, Wipro, Infosys, even IBM India, right? They have this policy and they actually publish the papers every year. 
the question is the amount of value the add in terms of money and in terms of research i think there is a huge balance gap right the moment you start producing a good value research from your company that are also actually actually attracts the client base right the moment you produce a good quality research from your company that actually uh, attracts the client base the clients understands that it, this company is deep into research they are completely into innovations right this is something that is your you that can be your usp if you go to the client base instead of showcasing the people skills you can also showcase that they are highly performer highly problem solvers that's a huge asset if you ask me in terms of it company if you decide today that you want to understand this research publication business today actually i can help you there so google scholar is actually a search engine that is built on the research papers you can search any research paper if you want it's a simple just like a google search you can type keywords let's say if you want to learn if you want to search about reinforcement learning that's part of ai algorithm you'll see tons of papers that people are trying to publish on that you will see various nice algorithms that people has actually written on that that's a go to site if you want to understand the basics of how to write a paper so go to google scholar download one of the paper and that's a probably one of the best site i would say let's say you understand the gist of writing a good papers i think the start point should be ipeli ipeli probably has a much friendlier way for getting publications to be done but it also teaches you how to write the good quality papers there are certain formalities there are certain standard that has to be follow for writing good papers so ipeli i would say is the level 0 if you want to really start with writing good papers IEEE is also considered one of the most reputed platform for research. Finally, you want to understand what is Mendeley. So Mendeley is a software from elsewhere which helps you collaborate on your research articles. So let's say you are trying to search all the research articles but you want to store it somewhere. You want to have a structured format. So Mendeley is a go-to tool where you can actually have a multiple collections of your own research that's been captured in a different way. Okay, so that's the new tool. It has a Google Chrome uh, plugin. It also has a web UI. It also has a desktop here. That's the next thing if you want to do it. I hope you enjoyed uh, this talk, and I appreciate if you start really working on yourself and doing some research publications. Hope to see you soon.